Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, this is your reading for the month of October and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Aquarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Alright, coming back to this reading on YouTube Aquarius, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with or you will be dealing with. I'll also pull out some Romance Angel Oracle cards and we'll see what are the romantic messages for you for the month of October. Alright. What is your energy? Yes, this Knight of Wands, uh, <laughs> this card wanted to come out. Then we have Emperor and Nine of Cups. Energy of your person, Two of Wands. The Magician and Seven of Cups. Let me pull out some Romance Angel Oracle cards. What are the romantic messages for you? Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, Aquarius, you may be dealing with Aries, Gemini, Virgo, uh, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm also hearing, yeah, uh, I'm also hearing Sagittarius. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. This is your spread Aquarius. Okay. I think so this was you. Yeah. Hmm. Aquarius, you have become a very strong personality. So, even if uh, listen, what I'm getting is you are growing as a person. Okay, you are becoming a different version of yourself, and probably you are the one who is changing uh, quite fast with the times. When I say changing, what do I mean? Is you're growing. Okay, as a person, you're growing, you're evolving, and that evolution is happening at a great speed. So, what is happening is people around you are sort of becoming a bit confused. Okay, like they are not able to form an opinion about you and about your personality, and they probably do not know how to deal with you. Okay, at the same time, the same people are a bit jealous or feeling insecure because of the fact that you are growing. They are understanding. It's not just a change. It is a growth. Okay. It is pretty evident growth that you are experiencing in your life. And people are not happy about it. People are a bit jealous about it. Uh, they, they are not growing at the same speed at which you are growing. And that is why people around you are feeling insecure. Okay. And what is happening is out of that insecurity, out, out of that jealousy, some people may try to come back and some people may try to... There is this hot and cold energy, inconsistent energy uh, where someone may try to enter in your life and try to be your friend or try to be, try to be really nice to you as a colleague or something like that. But then eventually their intention is different and 
this person will i mean they are not entering in your life with a good intention they may ghost you or they may do something whatever they may do will not impact you in any way but people may make such kind of futile attempts okay to pull you down okay futile attempts to be nice with you and then betray you why betray you to pull you down ultimately okay and betrayal is is not something new to you you have experienced betrayal multiple times in the past and because of that in fact you have grown and because of that in fact you have evolved so much in your life okay so what i see is in the month of october you have also become pretty uh, uh, you can screen bs pretty fast okay if a person is approaching towards you and if that person is uh, is coming towards you with malafide intentions or with genuine intentions you can screen the bs you have a very great bs detector your brains your intuition are are guiding you in the most appropriate manner okay so you will see in the month of october or even during the last couple last months of uh, of this year october november december that some people are trying to come towards you with not so good intention and you will detect their bs instantly and you will push them away out of your life you will see this happening couple of times in your life okay and uh, i will also know i will i mean uh you are looking very intellectual you are looking very intelligent person you are looking very um a person who should be taking seriously and a person who should not be messed around with that kind of personality you are going to portray uh you are also in fact a wish fulfillment for many okay you will be you will also notice at the same time that many people especially opposite sex they will be showing lot of uh interest in you they will throw hints left right and center uh that they are interested in you but somehow i am noticing that because of the strong persona that you have people are a bit scared of approaching you even even people who are romantically interested in you people are a bit scared to approach you because they don't know how you will react and it's nothing i mean i'm not saying or suggesting that you should change your ways in fact you have achieved this level you have achieved us the growth in your life after a lot of uh, after experiencing a lot of uh, rocky situations rock bottom situations in your life okay so i'm not at all suggesting that you change your ways just that i'm saying you are a wish fulfillment for many people many people will show interest in you but you will know at the back of your mind that there is one special person who is meant for you in this lifetime and you will be patiently waiting for that person okay you know that you have achieved a lot of growth and your person your soulmate your your partner will also be someone who is as evolved as you are who is as grown as mature as spiritually awakened as you are so even when you are the spiritually even when you are this uh, uh, nine of cups a wish fulfillment for many i don't see a connection happening right away at least for some of you okay we'll discuss the cards about your person because you know at from you you will know that there is someone else that is meant for you and you you are waiting for that person okay as far as your person is concerned we have two of wands the magician and seven of cups your person is also wish fulfillment for many people your person you both are mirroring uh, one another's energy a lot this person may be a twin flame of yours just like you are a wish fulfillment for many they are also wish fulfillment for many and of course they will be you know that you are looking out for someone who is as evolved as you are so why not they will also be a wish fulfillment for many even they will be having lot of options but this person is manifesting you okay and i see that i'm getting attracted to this infinity sign also so it looks like you are also manifesting them and they are also manifesting you and both of you are waiting to meet one another both of you are ready to meet one another 
okay so let me pull out some additional cards when and how you will meet this person because the cards are telling me that you guys are going to meet so when and how aquarius will meet this person when and how okay we have high priestess we have ace of pentacles nine of pentacles moon temperance three of pentacles very strong possibility that you're going to meet uh this person through work okay or at work and uh with ace of pentacles um if you are running a business then this person may be a client or a customer of yours okay and you guys are going to build a very very solid relationship a relationship with a solid foundation and your intuition is going to guide you that this is the one this is the one for you i feel like there is a distance between both of you you guys are staying in the different parts of the world this relationship this connection is going to be very deep and very strong very strong very stable and very deep i just saw 11 11 probably you guys are twin flames yeah you guys may be twin flames and this is a connection that is orchestrated by the uh, divine there is a lot of divine interference aquarius in your life lots and lots of divine interference also getting messages around money you you will be doing a lot good in your money yes and one of the indication is that when you will be doing good in your money probably at that point of time you are going to meet this person but again this is not a precondition if you want to manifest this person beforehand you can have this person beforehand but i see like you are many of you you have this vision about yourself and this is not something that has this is not a vision that you have developed recently for yourself you had this vision since last many years i'm hearing you're having a vision about finding your soulmate or finding your future spouse when you will be financially stable or financially abundant okay you want to get married at a time when you are financially abundant okay and that is why we have nine of pentacles over here we have three of pentacles so you will be doing absolutely good financially at that point of time you are going to meet this person again i am telling you this is not a precondition this is your own vision this is something that you have kept a vision for yourself and this is not something that you have developed recently this is the vision that you are having since last many many years maybe 5 to 6 years or 10 years you are having this vision for yourself okay again i'm telling you it is not necessary to have a precondition it's not necessary that you find someone uh only when you are doing good about good in your life okay right now let's talk about the romantic messages we have past life relationship you have known each other before it's quite obvious that this is a past life connection resurrecting in this lifetime all over again soulmate yes this is your soulmate i'm hearing that you're meeting this person in next 3 months okay pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you for some of you uh for some of you like i told you right someone may try to enter in your life with not so good intentions they may try to hurt you okay release your ex this is what we have got immediately after pay attention to the red flags you have to release your ex aquarius unrequited love you know that there was not enough love in the past relationship keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations some of you are going to marry a foreigner express your love go ahead and make a romantic gesture children your love life is being affected by children some of you you already have children you already have kids and some of you you want to have kids and that is also one of the reason why you are manifesting uh marriage and meeting your soulmate so fast okay nevertheless i feel like whenever you're going to meet this person things will happen pretty fast between you and this person like one month or two month after meeting one another within one month or two month you guys may decide to get married okay 
all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment on below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care of yourself and have a great time ahead